Hello guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the Democrat trending states and the Republican trending states for future U.S. presidential elections. So, we're going to start off with the states that are becoming the most Democratic and the most Republican, and uh, I'll be putting those probably in likely colors. It's not going to be solid Democratic or solid Republican. That's like a state that's shifting extremely quickly. But, um, okay, let's start off with the first few states. Colorado is one of those states that's going to become pretty much a safe, democratic stronghold. We nearly saw Lauren Boebert lose an R plus 8 district in 2022. So, and also we saw the uh, governorship in Colorado go overwhelmingly democratic. Same with the uh, Senate race there. It was expected to be competitive. But I think that just kind of shows how democratic Colorado is getting. I mean, Biden won it by like nearly 15 points in 2020 when Hillary only won it by five back in 2016. So we're already seeing these rapid democratic trends in the state. Next state is Florida. This state's just going to become extremely Republican very fast. We already saw in the 2022 elections, how Republican it got. Honestly, in the 2024 election, I kind of expect Trump to win the state by six or seven points. And if it's DeSantis, eight to nine points. So again, it's going to shift from an R plus three state in 2020 to probably an R plus seven state on average in 2024. It's just mainly because a lot of Republicans are moving to the state. The Cubans there are just getting more and more Republican. Overall, it's just a lot of shifts going on in Florida, which really is just making it not a swing state anymore and more of a likely Republican state. Okay, so that's all the likelies done. Now we're going to get into the leans. So let's start off with the Republican lanes. I think Idaho is one of those states. It's just a very rural state. Same with Wyoming, the Dakotas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri. Even though it kind of trended Democratic from 2016 to 2020, I think that was just not indicative of long-term trends. I just think it was showing how Biden was a better candidate. The future of Missouri is just going to keep getting Republican. Those rural areas are just going to outweigh all the urban areas in Missouri. In West Virginia, this state is just plummeting for Democrats. Every election they do worse here. I just think it's completely out of it. Same with Indiana as well. Even though it kind of trended a little bit more Democratic in 2020, I think it's kind of the same situation as Missouri, and it's just going to keep getting more and more Republican to those rural areas. In Kentucky, I'm going to put it as Telt Republican for now. I mean, there may be some chance it doesn't keep going super Republican, but I think it's kind of similar to Indiana and West Virginia, but there's more population centers in Kentucky. So I'm going to put it as tilt Republican for now. Ohio and Iowa, for sure, are just Republican trending states. It's just going to get worse and worse for Democrats from here on out, and these states, it's just falling apart for them here. Just do those white working class voters, because pretty much swapping to the Republican Party. In Alabama as well, I think it's kind of bleak for uh, Democrats in this state as well. Just the rurals here are just outweighing the uh, urban centers in Alabama and the Black Belt. Uh, let's see the next few states. We'll do uh, the West Coast. So Washington State, I'm going to put as a lean blue state. I do think it'll trend a bit more Democratic. With Oregon... No, I'm not going to put as a lean blue. I'm going to put as tilt blue. I think it'll just get narrowly more democratic in the future. Same with California. I don't think it's going to really trend red. I think the 2022 elections in California is just low democratic turnout. In Nevada, over time, it's actually becoming more and more Republican. So I'm going to have to put it as tilt Republican. It's not rapidly becoming Republican at a fast rate, but relative to the nation, it's just getting slightly and slightly more Republican over time. Montana, however, I do think there's a lot of Democratic trends in this state. Same with Nebraska and Kansas. They're all in the same boat where there's actually a good amount of urban uh, population increasing for the Democrats, which is highly beneficial for them in these three states in the future. They're kind of facing the same boat here. They're just getting more and more Democratic at a pretty fast rate. In New Mexico, I would say it's kind of a little bit stagnant, but I'm going to give it to the Democrats here. Again, 
they are getting larger and larger victories over time in this state. And Utah, it's slightly getting more democratic over time as well. I'm going to put it as tilt D for now. Alaska, it's kind of in the same, but with the rural states, it is getting more and more democratic just every election, typically. Hawaii, though, it's actually becoming more and more Republican over time. It's probably because of Barack Obama's very large overperformance in the state in the 2008 and 2012 elections. But uh, it's actually just slowly trending more and more Republican. Arizona, Democrats are getting higher registration in the n numbers in the state by the month. I mean, it's probably going to be lean blue by 2024 against uh, Trump, I would say. But uh, yeah, it's just the Democrats are just registering more and more voters to their party. That's basically it there. Texas, again, it's just going to keep trending more and more blue over time. I really think it's going to be a lean blue state definitely in the future. Not in 2024, though. Maybe 2028 or 2032 for sure, though. But uh, for now, it's just having a lot of Democratic trends going on in the state. The next few states, Mississippi and Louisiana. I'm going to put these as both tilt Republican. Louisiana is getting a little bit pessimistic for Democrats. It could even shift to lean Republican. But Mississippi, it's just that uh, it's a very polarizing state. Typically, if you're white in Mississippi, you're just overwhelmingly Republican. And if you're black in Mississippi, you're overwhelmingly Democratic. So it's a very racially divided state. And it's just more whites in this state. So it's really just shifting more, more, and, re more and more Republican due to those rural areas just becoming a lot more Republican over time. In uh, Tennessee, I think it's a bit pessimistic for Democrats. I think this is one of those states that actually has like rural areas that are growing in population, which is just very bad for Democrats here. Even if they get good increases in the urban areas in Tennessee, it's still going to get more and more Republican over time. In Georgia, I think this is one of the very good states for Democrats. I was almost considering putting it as likely blue, but it's still going to be very competitive in 2024, which is why I'm keeping it in the lean blue column in terms of trends. I do think the uh, urban and suburban areas around Atlanta and in Atlanta, those areas are experiencing massive population growth. So that's one good thing for the Democrats in the state that are getting them a more uh, reliable state for them in the future. Okay, in the Northeast and New York. New York's probably going to get a little bit more Republican. I could see uh, upstate just trending more Republican in 2024. Same with Long Island. I could see some trends going on there. Even in the city, Biden didn't perform as well as Hillary Clinton. So, again, this is one of the states that's just going to trend a bit more Republican-leaning. But uh, for now, it's still a safe Democratic state. I don't think it's going to flip in, like, a very, very long time. Probably... Not at all, honestly. Republicans shouldn't really be hoping for New York to become a Republican state in like 10 years. It's not going to happen. Okay, in New England, I think Massachusetts is going to keep getting more and more Democratic. New Hampshire and Maine, I just see these three states is slowly getting more Democratic. We're going to put Maine as a tilt blue. I can see Maine's second holding back uh, Maine's first district a bit. In Rhode Island and Connecticut, I think both these states are going to be more trending blue, just slightly. Same with Vermont. Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. I'm going to put Virginia as lean blue for now. I think in uh, 2024, it's going to be a D plus 12 state. I think Virginia is experiencing a lot of population growth in the northern parts, which are typically more democratic, which is why this state's going to shift a bit more left wing by then. North Carolina and South Carolina, I would say South Carolina is going to see some Democratic trends. We already saw it in the last election. Trump only won the state by like 10 or 11 points against Biden. North Carolina, even though it's more of a stagnant state, I think it is just with those urban population growth in North Carolina, it's definitely helping Democrats in the long term. It's not going to trend Republican. It's going to become more and more of a swing state just like Georgia is, but Again, this population growth in the urban areas, that's very beneficial for Democrats, and that's definitely happening in the state. In Pennsylvania, Democrats are actually clawing back a bit of support here. 
maybe Republicans truly are maxed out in the rural areas in Pennsylvania. So for now, I'm going to have to put it as tilt blue. I do think uh, the Democrats in Philadelphia, as long as they keep gaining in population in the urban areas and the suburbs, it's going to be beneficial for Dems in the long term. In uh, D.C., it's just going to keep getting more Democratic. Maryland, probably going to keep getting more Democratic as well. Delaware, maybe if uh, after Biden's done being president, that uh, this state might actually shift more Republican in the future, but I kind of doubt it. So far, the Republicans aren't showing any sign of them becoming more moderate, so I don't think Delaware is going to shift in favor of them. Uh, New Jersey as well, I think, is going to keep tilting more Democratic. Now in these four Rust Belt states. Illinois, again, it did get more Republican in 2020. So we're going to see that slight trend here. Plus, uh, I'm pretty sure Chicago's losing a slight amount of population every year. So again, that definitely hurts Democrats in the long term. Wisconsin, relative to the nation, Wisconsin actually trended a bit more Republican in 2020. Just because Biden did better in the popular vote. So long term, it's probably going to still trend a bit more Republican. I mean, there is Waukesha, which is actually showing Democratic trends that's re heavily Republican suburb in Wisconsin. But again, there's a lot of rural counties in Wisconsin that are just trending more and more Republican over time. Minnesota and Michigan, I think they're very close to stagnant, but I could see Minnesota, just the urban areas here, gaining more growth. Same with Michigan, actually. They could even potentially regain a uh, an electoral vote here. So for now, I'm going to put it as a tilt of blue state. It's going to definitely trend a bit more Democratic. So pretty much on the map, the Democrats are actually gaining in population more so than the uh, Republicans, according to each state. But there's a lot of tilt blue states and tilt Republican states. So those are states that are pretty close to stagnant. If we look at the likely and the leans, let me just put Florida down there. So it's like 148 to 145. So again, it's just a slight Democratic advantage over time in terms of states that are trending. While the Republicans, it's kind of like a big landmass here in the Midwest. And just that big red spot in Florida, while with the Democrats, they're gaining a lot of rural states and uh, near Colorado as well. So uh, overall, this is how I think states are going to trend from here on out in the next few presidential elections. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.